What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your sixth C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to go over some concepts with variables that are definitely going to help you later on. So the first thing I want to go over is this. You remember in the last tutorial where I told you guys that there are basically two different ways to create variables. The first way is to create a variable called tuner or something and set it equal to a value like 43 all on one line. Simple enough, easy to understand. Well, what I also told you guys you can do is you can declare, aka create it on one line and set it equal to a value on another line such as that. They're both perfectly acceptable ways to do things. The one thing I wanted to stress is that whenever you do this way, declare it on one line and set it equal to a value on another line, you don't need to write what type of variable it is again. Once you give C++ the information of what type of data you're working with, you don't need to list it every time you're working with a variable. C++ will remember that information and, you know, it'll keep it. So, whenever you're working with tuna later on, you don't need to explicitly write int, and actually you can't or else it'll give you an error message. So just make sure that, you know, just remember that don't write int twice on the same variable. So aside from that, let me show you guys this int tuna equals 99 so later on and I didn't tell you guys this but what you can do is if you set tuna equal to something else like 76 whenever your computer creates a variable it sets aside a piece of memory to store that value in this case 99 well whenever you create or excuse me, whenever you use that variable again and set it equal to a new value, what your computer is going to do is it's going to wipe out the old value in order to make room for the new value. So now you said, all right, we have a variable called tuna and that's equal to 99. Well, now we have a variable called tuna and we want to set this equal to 76. Well, all right, so we're going to try to print out tuna and our computer is going to say, all right, should I print out 99 or 76? Well, since we created one originally that was 99 and then we overwrote it to make it 76, it's going to print out 76. So let's go ahead and build and run this and see what we get. 76. So basically, whenever you have a value, it's placed in a memory location. And then whenever you give that variable a new value, it's going to overwrite the old value and put it in the same location. So I just want to tell you guys that this is how you can overwrite variables so if you're expecting 99 and you got 76 this is why so that's actually all I have for you guys for this tutorial again the two things I want to stress is whenever you're creating a variable you only write the type once you don't need to write it every single time and then whenever you need to reassign a value you just go ahead and write the variable name and not the type again and also whenever you're overwriting a variable you use the variable and it's going to be equal to the latest value so whenever you you know set this equal to 76 it's going to wipe out the 99 and use the 76 so i just wanted to stress those you know a couple memory concepts so then whenever we're building programs later on you might have a better understanding of how it works so for now that's all i have for you guys in the next tutorial you know how i said that we're going to be going over arithmetic like how to add two numbers together well there's actually a bunch of different arithmetic operators that we need to learn and that's what we're going to be covering in the next tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next video